Hi, my name is Clem, and welcome to the first episode of Wolf Media. In this episode, we'll listen to what Dr. Terence Hing and Dr. Bruce Peter have to say as they conclude their last lecture for the first batch of third year students. And also, we'll give you a little insight on what the interior design students are up to at Bintang. To end it off, we'll give you a little sneak preview of the location where GSA Singapore will be having their end of year show. Today is Terence and Bruce's last lecture for this semester. We caught up with them today, and here's what they have to say. Hi Terence. Hi. Um, so how do you feel about like for the past six months you've been taking us? I think it's been a very interesting experience. I never actually thought in an art school, so to speak. I mean, my background has always been sociology, but with a practice in photography. So when I came to GSA, I wasn't entirely sure what I was expecting or the kinds of students I was uh, expecting to teach or who they might be. But I think it's been really interesting. I think it's been actually very fulfilling and I've actually learned a lot um, by preparing for lectures and looking at content. Uh, and, and, and yeah, it's been, it's been a wonderful experience also. So how do you feel about like leaving us for the past? You know, leaving us. Oh, well, not exactly leaving you guys, but uh, it's a bit nostalgic. I think that I think I'm going to miss coming to GSA every week in, week out to run the two different modules. I've really enjoyed watching how the theory has, the application of the theory and seeing how people have actually gone and done their own research. It's very heartening. Um, I hope to see you guys again next year. I really do. Uh, I hope I hope we can I can work at least with some of you on some projects, um, and you know greater heights. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, hi, Bruce. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you very much. So, how do you feel about the second visit here? Well, I feel delighted because um, um, well, it's kind of gone past incredibly quickly. I would say that uh, the first couple of days I was totally jet-lagged and the words just came out of my mouth without me actually being there completely in corporeal substance. So now, now I, then, then the third day I felt fine and now the fourth day I just feel very tired. So I find I just went extremely well. So, so you have been teaching us for the past four days. Yeah. So how do you feel about it? Yeah. Oh, I think it went astonishingly well. Uh, you know, remarkably so. I it was fine. It was okay. I don't. We don't sort of expect sudden ecstasy or great revelations or astonishments. Just having a little bit of a change and coming somewhere else and doing this same job as at home in a different context is okay. And uh, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, and uh, I hope that was useful. Yes. In the middle of this busy and hectic school term. Some interior design students headed over to Bintan to pay the Sea Gypsy community a visit to explore how they can offer the help through and with design. We caught up with Gabriel and Larry who will share with us their experiences in Bintan. Hi, I'm Gabriel and I'm Larry and we are from Interior Design. Um, on January 2013, um, we were actually asked to volunteer for a Bintan project and so a group of us, the initial group was about six of us and we actually volunteered to go down and the information that we were given was that we were conducting a site analysis site analysis um, and it was concerning the dying trade of sea gypsies and we were also told that we, we needed to give a new um, function to the, to the kilns that are existing within the village what we did during the trip was um, we were given like two hours for our site analysis and we were being split up into different groups. So uh, we actually went around the entire village and we observed things um, in a very different manner because it's very different to the context we have in Singapore. We look at things in a very different way. We, we started to appreciate life in a more rural way. So for, for me personally, um, it was, um, I wanted to conceptualize an idea that would benefit the children of the villages because I feel like they were, the, they were more important uh, to, in sustaining the, the culture because in order to sustain the culture well enough uh, we would have to um, cater to the next generation of CGPCs. 
After nine long months of projects and assignment, our students at GSA have finally reached the end of this academic work year. Their hard work and sweat will definitely pay off as they hold an exhibition at MOCA Gallery to showcase all their works at the end of May. Our on-site reporter Nadia has went down to the gallery to pay a little visit. Let's take a look. I'm over at the Museum of Contemporary Art, or MOCA for short, where the students of GSA Singapore will be having their end-of-year show, exhibiting all projects that they have worked hard over the past year. But what exactly is MOCA about? With me, I have Ms. Shahira Jasni, who is in charge of Museum Marketing and PR, who will share more on this matter. Shahira, could you tell us what is MOCA and what do you do? Well, Nadia, MOCA stands for Museum of Contemporary Arts and um, it was actually a special project that was developed to run in tangent with the National Museum programs that we have in Singapore. So uh, we are supposed to bring in those artists that you know, are not usually brought in by the National Museums in Singapore. How do you feel about this collaboration with GSA Singapore? Um, me, myself, as well as the whole team is very happy to you know, collaborate with GSA and uh, of course it's because GSA has such a, a good uh, reputation with you know uh, practicing artists and that's what we need um, practicing artists in the contemporary art world. What do you think of the local art scene in Singapore and the future for young artists and designers? Well the art scene in Singapore as in every art scene in the world is evolving uh, but it's even more exciting for Singapore because Singapore is you know uh, part of a globalization and every one of us, I would think, would be a global citizen. Uh, well, I think the future for artists is very bright in Singapore. It's, you know, a developing uh, society at the moment in terms of art and culture. And it's growing at such a tremendous rate. So, really exciting times for the young artists. What advice would you give to these young artists and designers? Well, uh, one important thing is to persist in your ideas, your beliefs, and to be bold, to speak up, speak your mind out. Um, and, you know, someone somewhere will always help you achieve your dreams. And one of us, or one of those people is us, you know, Mocha. The students of GSA Singapore will be holding an exhibition from the 27th to 29th of May. It is open to public, so if you're in town, do drop by Mocha and take a look. We have come to the end of this episode of Wolf Media. To find out more on the happenings within and outside of school, do visit our website to read out more on our brand new online newsletter, Wolf. Till then, I'm Clem, and we hope to see you again.